OneNote is so powerful that you can run your whole operation or business using this. All right, today video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your whole standard operating procedures or your management systems within OneNote itself. Now, the example I'm going to show you here is a warehouse safety management system, but you can basically use it for any systems. Right now here, you can see on the screen inside my OneNote, you have this warehouse safety management system, SMS. Yeah. Now, I'm using section to create this. If you want this to be the notebook by itself, you can create a new notebook for that. Just go to file and then you can create new, okay? Which location and then you can create this, yeah? A new notebook. So now for me, I'm going to use this uh, example, right? As a section, group section. So in over here, you can create a new section to continue. But if you want to create a new section group, just click on any of your section over here. Just right click it. Yeah. And you can see there's a new section group. So all you need to do is to create a new section group over here. Okay. So right now, because I right click over here, it becomes like a sub sub section over here. But if we go up, you can create a new section group. Yep, right over here. And then you can create a section and then drag it into it. Let's say, for example, I create a new section one over here and I can just drag it, drop it into here. All right. And then after that, I'll create section within this. So this is how you create it. Okay, let me just delete it off. So once you create this, for me, I will use the numbering system very simple. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six section. Okay, six section. And then within every section, I will have pages, right? So the pages, I have page. Okay, number one is 1.1, 1 .1, the foundation. And then under foundation, they have all this. Now, this is sub pages. You can click this, right? And uh, you can hide it, right? Your sub pages. So all you need to do is very simple. You just create page like this. Yeah. And then let, let's name it. Okay. So this is the section page. And then I can create a sub page. Let's say this is sub one. And then basically I just drag it right over here. So this becomes a subsection. Now you can only do this on the desktop, right? Now in mobile, if you want to know, just leave a comment right below because it's a little bit tricky to do it in the mobile, right? All you need is set it up first on the desktop. Then in the mobile, later on, you can create subsection. Yep. So this is how you create a subsection. Okay, just delete it off. Let me delete this off too. So now, right now I have all this. Yeah. So every of this uh, section, I have pages and my sub pages. Okay, this is like the subsection all within your SOP. So usually we start with how to use this notebook, right? Now, if you create a notebook itself, you can actually share it inside your teams so that all your team members can access to it. Yeah. Now, of course, you can share it right over here. So you copy the link and then share it inside your team as well. So usually for the first part, how to use this note, basically is just kind of like explaining how you use this. But I like to put a table of content. Yeah, they can click it right over here. Okay. But usually I like to have section like this. Then you see if I click here, it will straight take me to the section two. I do not need to open up my uh, OneNote to this section so that I can click on here especially when you're in a tablet version or mobile version because it's very narrow, the view, right? So all you need to do is very simple. How do you create that? Let me go back to this, okay? So just tap over here. You go to this section, right, number three. Then you just copy link to this section, go back to this page, and then you copy and paste it, okay? Then same thing, you do this. Copy link and then come over here and then just paste it. So once done, it is very simple. If I want to go to number three, it will jump me to number three. Okay. And let me go back here, jump to number four. Same thing right over here. Okay. So this is how you create like your table of content.
in all this section, you can just fill it up. This is just a template. Okay, and then you can fill it up. You can uh, put tables or whatever in here. All right. Now, let me show you other than that. If you want to insert example, okay, uh, this is a SOP section, right? Safety work procedures. Uh, if you have, let's say, for example, let me go and pull a, a PDF file. So I'm going to drag and drop, okay, for my file explorer to this OneNote right over here. When I drop it, you ask me to just attach the file, okay, or insert printout. Insert printout means that it's going to show you all the pages. Let me just show you how it looks like, okay? So now this is only like a couple pages. This is an example, okay, of uh, presentation slides. If you just insert the file, you will see something like this. You need to double click to access the PDF. If you want to be, I mean, the whole procedure to be seen here directly on one note, then you just show the printout, okay? So this is how it's going to look like. So all you need to do is just insert the PDF so that you got everything in one place within your OneNote. They don't need to go, I mean, other places. Now, of course, previously, you want to do this, you need to, have to buy or purchase a document control system to do all that. But today, you can use this, right? Free, right? For free, OneNote to do all this stuff. Let me go back here, okay? So now, once come here, let me show you, okay, this is the, the forms, right? There are many forms, okay, especially when it comes to operating procedures, right? Like this is a safety operating procedures. So I'm just simple, I mean, simply pull a form from my Microsoft forms, okay? And just copy right over here. So all you need, let me show you where's my form. Okay, this is my Microsoft form. Now, of course, this is not directly safety, it's a 5 desk audit. So all you need is just, open up the form you need to set up this form if you want to know how to set up your form just leave a comment right below then i'll create a separate video on that so over here you can collect so all you need is just that you just copy this link you can shorten it or you copy this link and then you go back over here and then let me show you so you just click here and then you can copy paste it will pull out the form okay now this is for microsoft because one note belongs to Microsoft, so you will see the whole forms right over here. Yeah. Now, if you use Google form, I do not know whether they can do that or not. So, okay, let me just delete this all. Now, of course, if you want, you can also put their QR code so that, because this is just a template. So every time your guys want to do the audit, they can come to this page and scan this. Yeah. And then to basically do the audit. Right. Now, of course, the best is that you stick this, print this out, stick it to the place, right? The area where you need to do the audit so that your guys will just go there, scan this, and then you can do the audit. So after the audit or inspection, now all you can do is that you can do the same thing. This is a completed. I'm just pulling out one completed reports, okay? From the Microsoft Forms. So basically, you can see all the all the things, right? The inspection, the checklist, okay? The results right over here. Now, this can be seen real time. means that if they just continue to do it, they are still, I mean, new information coming in. So this is the beauty of using OneNote. Of course, you can use manual form. You can create forms uh, to print it out as a template. But today, I prefer to use Microsoft Forms because it's simple and you don't need to compile. The system basically compile it for you and summarize into all this report. Now, of course, if you go to Microsoft Form, it can even create a summary for you, right? A chart and, and so on. So next thing is here, right? Let's say you come to here, you talk about training, training metrics, you can insert cables. Basically, there are many things you can insert right over here. You see, you can use uh, insert table just like how you use inside Microsoft Word, yeah? And you can even insert a spreadsheet, yeah, from your OneDrive, and of course, you can have many templates. Now, check out my other videos that I talk about the templates. It's very, very useful. If you use a lot, you can create your own template on this. Yep. Now, of course, you can insert other things like screen clipping, online videos, and so on. So here, I'm going to show you this. Okay. Now, this is insert uh, online videos. So if you have videos, 
that you create. And uh, this is your training materials. Basically, you can uh, copy and paste if you're from uh, YouTube. You can copy and paste the YouTube link right over here. Or if you're using your own Microsoft Streams link, you can copy and paste it right over here as well. So once you copy paste, you will see this preview. And then basically, you can click this. You play it directly inside your OneNote. You do not need to get out and go to YouTube. So if you click here. You can drag it, make it bigger or smaller as per what you want. Okay, and you can play it directly in it's the OneNote dot. itself. Okay, so isn't that powerful, right? So go back and try, compile, and then of course you can do all this sorting. You can drag, drop, to do, reorganize. You want to add more pages. Just click and add more pages, right? Just drag here and then it becomes the sub pages for this. Or you can drag over here. So it's very easy to organize, you see. So go try it out because this will take your operation to the next level where you can share all the key information within OneNote itself, right? And then you can share it inside your teams or you just click here and share with all your team members so that everyone can follow the right procedures. So I hope this video helps you to see what are the use case for OneNote. Right? I hope you can use OneNote like a pro. By the way, I'm Andrew, and if you like this video, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. Now, if you have questions, do leave a comment right below. I'll get back to you, and I'll see you real soon in my next video.